kids, it's Easter Sunday. So we are going to talk about Jesus' resurrection. So uh, my nieces and nephews call me Aunt Shell, so y'all can call me that if you want to. So Aunt Shell here, we're going to talk about Easter Sunday, okay? Hey guys, Easter Sunday! Wait a minute, silly rabbit, Easter's for Jesus! Come on! We are going to talk about the greatest story that has ever been told, okay? This is the story of the resurrection of Jesus. And we are going to use these eggs to help us tell the story. You ready? All right, so let's get into it. The first one we're going to talk about is got a donkey in it. Can you see that? See that donkey? The donkey, Jesus told the disciples to go to the city and to get a certain donkey. And he said, if anybody tells you, what are you doing with my donkey? You just tell them that the master has need of it. And so they did that, and guess what? The guy gave them the donkey. And so Jesus rode into the donkey, rode into the city on the donkey that the man gave him. Okay, so that's the first egg. The second egg is gonna be this one here. And there was this man. Um, he was one of the disciples. He was one of the 12 disciples. His name was Judas Iscariot, okay? And he went to the chief priest. He was like like the governors and the, the mayors. He went to them and he was like, um, what will you give me if I betray, which would mean um, turn against Jesus? And you know what they told him? You may know. They told him they would give him 30 pieces silver so they gave they said they give him silver they give him coins that he would betray Jesus so then later when they went to eat with Jesus the disciples were there at the Passover and they were eating and drinking bread and so Jesus took a cup he took, took the bread and he broke it and they ate of that but he took the cup and he said drink ye all of it. So he shared his cup with the disciples. And so Jesus did that at the Passover. So then they went to the Garden of Gethsemane. And so they were there and Jesus prayed with the disciples. So the praying hands represents God or Jesus praying in the garden. And he prayed to, to the Lord and he said, Oh my Father, if it is possible, let this cup pass from me. Nevertheless, not my will, but as thou wilt. So he knew what the um, world wanted to do to him, and he said, well, whatever God wants to be done, is thy will be done, okay? Then, the disciples had, um, that's when Judas betrayed Jesus there in the Garden of Gethsemane. So, the people had arrested Jesus, and had Jesus done anything wrong? No, Jesus hadn't done anything wrong. But the people arrested him, and they went to Pilate. He was like the governor or the chief. And the people said, we want Barabbas. That was the bad guy who had done a lot of mean and awful things. And so Pilate, he did what the people wanted him to do, and he gave them Barabbas. And so then they kept Jesus, and they punished Jesus, and they used a whip. A leather whip to to um, scourge him or to to make marks on him. He they beat him with a leather whip and it made marks and cuts into his body and made his back bleed. Okay, so they did that to Jesus. And remember, Jesus didn't do anything wrong. Jesus was perfect. He didn't have any sin. 